If you want to learn how to mow your lawn less while getting greener grass and reducing how much water you need to put on the lawn, you clicked on the right video. Coming up, I'm going to share a single product that you're going to apply just once per month on your lawn that's going to do all those things. Let's get started. The product that's going to allow you to cut your mowing in half, produce a deeper green color, and create denser turf is called Plant Growth Regulator. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three things. What is PGR? when to apply it, and how to mix it. So let's start with the first one, what is PGR? PGR, or plant growth regulator, is a specialized chemical that interrupts or suppresses the grass's ability to grow tall. The product we're gonna be talking about today is called Teenex, with the active ingredient being Trinexapac ethyl. Now, without going into too much detail as far as, far as how it works, Trinexapac ethyl um, interrupts jabrulic acid synthesis, which is the growth hormone the grass uses to grow tall. So by spraying this on our lawns in the right amounts, we're gonna reduce how much we need to mow our lawn, we're gonna create that deeper green color, and we're gonna reduce water requirements because as the turf gets denser, the ability for water to evaporate out of the soil is reduced. So you're gonna actually cut or reduce the amount of water that you need to put on the lawn to keep it looking nice. So next we're talking about when to apply it. So the ideal time to apply a plant growth regulator, as far as seasons go, is whenever the lawn is fully greened up. So as a general rule, I do my first PGR application in May, but that may not be true in your case. Um, really what you wanna do is look at the lawn and how it's look and, and how it's greening up, and you ideally wanna apply PGR once the lawn is fully green. Because again, this stuff is going to suppress the ability for the grass to grow tall, so if there's any bare spots in your lawn, uh, you know, using PGR may not be the best thing to do at that time. So early spring, all throughout the summer and into the fall are, are, are the perfect times to use PGR. On my lawn, I begin applying PGR in May and I do it all the way through October. Now, as far as the best time of day to apply the product, I like to do it in the early morning or in the evening time. The reason for that is that that's when the wind tends to be lowest. And because you're gonna be using a backpack sprayer to apply this product, we don't wanna be spraying it all over the place, getting it blowing all in the air. We want the product on the lawn, not in the air, okay? So as far as best times to apply or how I do it uh, is in either in the early morning or in the afternoon. Next, let's get to application rates. So for warm season grass like Bermuda or Zoysia, uh, you're gonna wanna apply TNX at a rate of 0.25 ounces or a quarter of an ounce per thousand square feet. You're gonna take that quarter of an ounce of Teenex and you're gonna mix it with one gallon of water. So if we do some simple math, what that means is if you're using a four gallon backpack sprayer like my Flow Zone Typhoon 2 or Chapin or whatever you happen to have, um, what that means is that four gallon backpack sprayer is gonna have 4,000 square feet of coverage. So what that means is we need to take that 0.25 ounces and multiply it by four. So what that means is for a four gallon backpack sprayer, you're gonna be adding one ounce, just one ounce of this product of Teenex with that uh, to get a to get the, the, the proper mixing rate. So one ounce doesn't look like a lot, but I promise you guys, it does not take a lot of this stuff to get a good result. Uh, you definitely don't want to go heavy, kind of like with the rule when it comes to like herbicides. Uh, you don't want to go heavy when it comes to plants because regulator. Follow the rate, you're gonna get a good result, I promise. So uh, uh, as far as a, a mixing cup goes, one ounce on this cup is literally that first line on this cup. So I want to kind of show you guys that because as you begin pouring this in there, you're gonna see that one ounce doesn't look like very much and you might be tempted to go heavier, but please listen to me and, and trust me when I tell you that you don't need to do that. Now, as far as when to apply this, you're gonna to wanna to fill your backpack sprayer halfway full with water. You're gonna to wanna to add the Teenex, the, the, the plant growth regulator to the tank, and then continue filling it. Um, a pro tip is if you have access to a liquid fertilizer, something like Turfplex, um, that, that will help reduce any, uh, the temporary yellowing that you get from Teenex. So that's something you need to keep in mind. I didn't actually get into that and we can talk about that now. The one negative aspect of this particular type of PGR is that when you spray it on your lawn, within two to three days after applying it, you're gonna get some temporary yellowing on the lawn, like a bronzing effect that you're gonna get on the lawn. The nice thing is that only lasts for a couple of days and the first time you mow after applying this, uh, it's gonna knock that off and what grows back is gonna be nice and green and you're gonna be loving life because you're not gonna have to mow as much, right? So as far as um, some other rules around application, you want to apply this, this product to the lawn when it's dry and when there's no rain in the forecast for at least six hours. So ideally, uh, you know, if you mow the day before and then you wait till the following morning to apply Teenex, um, as long as it's not gonna rain before like late evening, you know, or late in the afternoon or into the evening, you're gonna to be good to go. As far as PPE goes when it comes to applying this, I like to wear safety goggles. I find that to be very important. Um, wearing gloves to keep it off your skin. Um, and then long sleeve pants, long sleeve shirt. You see I'm wearing a hoodie. So something like this would be what you want to wear whenever you're applying the product to your lawn. Now, as far as how often you need to do it, 
Uh, when applied at the correct rate, a T-Nex is gonna regulate growth in your lawn for three to four weeks. So really what that sounds like to me is about once a month. What I do is I mix this along with my liquid fertilizer and my carbon kit or any other soil amendments that I'm putting on the lawn at the beginning of every month. So I only apply it once per month. There are some apps you can use to track exactly how long uh, the lawn's gonna stay in regulation based on temperature and rain and things along those lines, but I don't get that that complicated or that, that detailed into, into my, uh, my PGR application. Now the nice thing about T-Nex is is, is that it's good for both warm season and cool season grass. The rates that I specified, uh, that 0.25 um, ounces per thousand square feet, those are the warm season rates. Those are gonna be safe rates for Bermuda and for zoysia grass, but if you've got like rye or Kentucky bluegrass, you can still absolutely use this product in your lawn. It's gonna work just fine, but you need to consult the label to find out what the rate is um, that's correct for your particular grass type. I've done other videos on this in the past. If you're interested in a deeper dive into PGRs, into TNX, into other types of PGRs and how they work, I'm gonna have a video here that you can watch next. It's a little bit longer video that goes into all the detail. You can geek out on PGRs and understand um, you know, what other options there are for getting an amazing lawn while mowing less. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.